Somewhere in the bowels of the city that never sleeps. Kevin McCullough, radio host with Salem Media. Is a man also not sleeping. Syndicated radio talk show host Kevin McCullough. And that guy would like a word with you. Many of you know him from as Lutz Fridamas. Of course that Kevin show is going to be great. The only thing that could be greater, of course, would be that Donald show. But we don't have that, so we have that Kevin show. Featuring the music of Dick Tunney and the Dream in Color Orchestra. And yet to come tonight on That Kevin Show, an activated supermom who's had it up to here, Jacqueline Toberoff. And how much comedy can one daddy handle? Luke Thayer has the answer. And they are a sucker for it. The Jonas Brothers return to the spotlight this hour. Now, from Times Square, where Martha Stewart, fresh off her Sports Illustrated swimsuit cover, longs to be TV's next bachelorette, but only if she can see the men first, here. Here's that Kevin! Um, someone needs to get me a notepad. Because I need to fill out a dismissal slip for announcer Dave. You cannot, you cannot take my news story and use it for your, your slug. What do you mean? Right here, number seven. From assignment desk weekend. I well then then check ahead of time. But you can't take you can't take my story and throw the punchline before I get a chance to. That's not right. It's not the it's not the announcer Dave. It's not that announcer Dave show. It's that Kevin show. Anyway, welcome in hour number two. I'm only kidding. I'm not gonna fire him. I'm not pleased though. I don't want him. I don't want him taking my material. I work too hard on this. I write every single piece of copy that we use here. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put up with it. Okay, assignment desk weekend. Let's get it going. <laughs> Yes, 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 indeed. Uh, Speculation is building over a Russian warlord possibly challenging Vladimir Putin in 2024. Yegevny Prigogonizhin currently commands the Wagner mercenaries, known for their extreme brutality, also happens to be a convicted criminal and a former hot dog salesman. So, you know, he's got the perfect resume to be the Russian president. Just ask uh, Mr. Putin. Uh, A little bit closer to home, Sam Britton, the uh, former Biden energy official who was convicted of stealing $3,500 worth of name brand luggage that had also some jewelry in it and other things. He's been rearrested. Evidently, uh, grand theft wasn't enough. He needed to come back and add to it. No, he's, he's a fugitive of justice. He's not showing up for his parole meetings or whatever they do. And I think that's a little bit disappointing because I think his real crime is uh, wearing burnt orange in public. Congresswoman Maxine Waters seen here attempting to win a staring contest with a statue is very disappointed that the Durham report completely debunked what she called her guarantee that Donald Trump had colluded with Russia. When asked her response to the report, She was seen mumbling and muttering under her breath. Tell McCullough I'll knife him in the back. Wendy's is experimenting with a new version of chatbot AI. Yeah, that hasn't left yet. Uh, This is going to allow a robot to take your order in the drive-thru, which is perfect when you think about it, because what do we really need more from our fast food establishments uh, the, how could it, how could we ask for anything more except less quality customer service while we're being told to, Hey, pull ahead. The fries will be out in five minutes. We just put them in. MSNBC's Rachel Maddow seen here doing her best Johnny Depp impersonation. But why is the rum gone? Uh, saying there's just no way that she could have been that wrong for that long 
when it comes to um, the findings of the uh, Durham report. She blasted it, actually. Uh, because if there's one thing we've learned from Rachel, you should always trust the woman who told you literally every night for two years that the vaccine would end COVID for good. Promise you. Lots of promises tonight. New York City is claiming to have lost about a half million residents since the start of the COVID-19 outbreak. The announcement took former Governor Andrew Cuomo completely by surprise. In fact, when he heard the actual number, he, he muddled, uh, mun, uh, muttered to himself, huh, I guess that nursing home thing worked better than I thought. Finally, at 81, Martha Stewart has set a new record as Sports Illustrated's oldest cover model. Based on the reaction from someone, the longtime powerhouse is fielding other offers. She's even gone so far as to volunteer herself to the heads at ABC as the next bachelorette with one condition. He said, I'll be the next bachelorette with one condition. She gets to see the contestants ahead of time. Because that's what we want for our daughters' role models, right? We, we, we want them to grow up and be just like Martha and base all romance on unrealistic perfection handpicked by central casting. Now, that's good for them. Now, finally, finally, Michelle Obama seen here delighting in the torture of her neighbor's cat has developed a new juice drink that is so unhealthy. How unhealthy is it's so unhealthy that it would fail her own school dietary standards. Now, you may not remember this, but I remember it like it was yesterday. She's the one that said no more nacho cheese sauce in public schools. You remember that? That was terrible. Couldn't believe we did that to the kids. I loved that nacho cheese sauce. That nacho cheese sauce was like heaven for some of us when we got it, when we were kids. That's terrible for you. you. Give you a heart attack by 13. But you, you, I just got to tell you, the you wanted the nacho cheese sauce. Come on. I don't know why it's... Uh, why it's so impossible. Anyway, uh, th so this drink, this ju juice drink that she's got, evidently has stevia and some other natural sugars. And when you put them all together, it still turned up too unhealthy to pass what would have uh, been expected for her own school dietary standards and, and, and protocols. Um, and she said, it's all about the money. I don't care. And besides that uh, wilted broccoli stalk flavor didn't test well. And now it's time to check that Kevin shows presidential voicemail. Yeah, Kev, it's Senator Biden from Delaware. Uh, President Harris and I believe this will be a boring election. Not much to see here. Yeah, Kev hates Donald, your favorite. Listen, I expect him to say that kind of thing, especially since the Durham report proved that he tried to frame me. Yeah, Kev, it's Ted Cruz. You know, what this race really needs is someone who'll just spend lots and lots of money and, and end up going nowhere. Kind of like Senator Scott from South Carolina. Hi, it's Hillary. You know, what this race really needs is a woman's touch. Hey, it's Bill. I think Hillary's onto something, that woman's touch thing. Hey, Kevin, it's Michelle Obama. You know, there have been people saying that I should run, but you know I hate politics. It's Senator Biden again. Could someone define for me what a woman is? I can. It's Kamala. Someone needs to let Joe know that it's all about the pronouns. Hey, Kev, it's Tucker. This election should be all about the freedom to speak. And thanks to Elon, you can see me speak nightly now for only $7.99 a month. Hey, Kev, it's Donald again. Love that Tucker guy. This race doesn't need Nikki, the sanctimonious pants, or that well-spoken guy from South Carolina. This race needs lots and lots of money. A woman's touch. Girl, you got that right. It needs an Obama, like me. <laughs> Discombobulated, rambling sentences that don't make much sense. Free speech, and I'm your guy, 799. Thanks, Elon. No, Kev, what this race needs is the Donald. And I'm here, baby.
And that wraps up this edition of Assignment Desk Weekend. Kevin McCullough saying stick around. Most of our two is still ahead. Plus, a return from the Jonas Brothers before we're all done. It is That Kevin Show. Ready or not, we'll be right back. That Kevin.